Hello, everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Crisley Knows Best star Julie Crisley was incarcerated in Kentucky because of a case involving tax fraud. She has been serving out her seven-year sentence in a federal prison. The whole family has been impacted by Todd and Julie's legal troubles. As the older siblings, Savannah and Chase have been carrying out their responsibilities, I, in addition to handling all legal issues, they have drawn attention to the awful conditions in their parents' prison cells, because her parents were incarcerated, Savannah adopted her brother Grayson and niece Chloe. Every family member is making every effort to overcome the obstacles. However, it appears that the family's legal issues won't be resolved anytime soon. Fans of the USA Network were astonished to learn that Julie had received another legal document recently. Stars Crisley Knows Best Julie and Todd have been enduring the most difficult obstacles of their lives. While the tax fraud case is ongoing, they have been completing their prison terms. Fans of USA Network were astonished to learn that Julie was the target of another lawsuit recently. Regretfully, it was for her son Grayson Crisley and not for her according to Radar Online. On April 17, 2024, a man by the name of Patrick Rywalder served the reality TV star with legal papers. He claimed that back in 2022, Grayson had crashed his vehicle on the freeway. He named Savannah, Todd, Gray, and Julie as defendants in the lawsuit. On November 12, 2022, Patrick stated that he was hurt while operating a 2020 Dodge Ram on Interstate 65, in Tennessee according to the documentation. Patrick's vehicle came to a stop when Grayson's 2020 Ford 5150 pickup truck collided with it. Since Todd and Julie were Grayson's car's owners, he gave the reality TV star the necessary documentation. In addition, he charged that he was driving distractedly since he wasn't looking at the road when the event happened. I, in addition, it was said in the court filings that Grayson did not behave correctly given the situation. In his complaint, Patrick sought punitive damages in addition to $750,000 in compensation for his injuries. In addition, Grayson's family members went to meet him at the hospital after the officials hurried him there following the tragedy. Stars Chrisley knows Best Todd and Julie now know enough about the law to resolve the issue. Patrick filed the claim in 2024 after Grayson's car wrecked in 2022. The reality TV personality denied any harm or injuries to the individual. In an attempt to get even, they said Patrick was bothering them. Todd and Julie said that Patrick had arguments with the family via phone conversations and texts. In addition, they requested that the court revoke Patrick's subpoenas to the phone company. Additionally, they stated that the case was clearly an attempt to harass them, unreasonable, and oppressive. Patrick, however, informed the court that the subpoenas were appropriate and that the two lacked any supporting documentation for their assertions. The former may now request records from November 12th to 15th, according to the court. Now, fans are anticipating Todd and Julie's solution to the latest legal problem. Check out the America People News YouTube channel for additional information regarding Todd, Julie, and their recent lawsuit. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our America People News YouTube channel for more update news.